How to stay anonymous if you win the lottery. I actually am a lottery winner if you are new to this channel. My name is Timothy Schultz. In 1999, I won the Powerball jackpot in the USA before going back to college to study journalism and broadcast news and work on various productions, but I'm now combining my experience to launch this podcast, meeting and interviewing other people that have overcome the odds in life. Some of these people happen to be other lottery winners. If you want to watch any of these interviews, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when they come out. But this video is all about where you can claim lottery prizes anonymously and how to do that. So let's get started here. One of the most important pieces of advice that I want to give you if you're watching this video is to check the rules. Where you are playing the lottery really, really matters and the rules vary by country, by state, by where you are playing. Understand the rules before you redeem the ticket. I wanna get into the places where you can claim prizes anonymously and where you cannot. But before I get to that, let's take a look at why you might claim a prize publicly because many people understand why you might wanna claim a prize anonymously, a major prize of millions of dollars because you might be afraid of people coming out of the woodwork, for example. So why in the world would you want to claim a prize publicly? Some people ask this very question. And my answer is there can be benefits in claiming a prize publicly. For example, some people might enjoy the 15 minutes of fame. After all, if you win the lottery, you can become an instant lottery celebrity. Or perhaps your personality is such where you want to be an open book to the world and you want to help others understand what your life experience is like. Or maybe, maybe you just don't have the choice and where you purchase the ticket, you have to claim it publicly, which was the case for me. For the places that require that you come out publicly, why do they do that? They wanna be able to show that real people are actually winning the lottery. But if you play the lottery and you win a major prize, where can you claim it anonymously and where do you have to claim it publicly? There are many countries out there where you can claim it anonymously, such as in the United Kingdom, in several countries in Europe as well, such as France, and even look at New Zealand and Australia where you can claim prizes anonymously. In fact, lottery officials in Australia encourage people to maintain their anonymity. So if you win the lottery in China, it's very interesting. You can choose publicly or anonymously, but you have to claim the prize publicly and participate in a photo shoot even if you're anonymous. In fact, not too long ago, there was someone that claimed a prize in a bright yellow cartoon costume. And in South America, there are places where you can claim prizes anonymously, including Brazil. But what about the United States? Many people play the Powerball and the Mega Millions, which are the two largest games in the country. But the states, the various states, have different rules about whether you can claim the prize anonymously. So the Powerball, for example, is played in 45 states, along with Washington, D.C., Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Some states require you to claim a prize publicly, and some of them do not. Not. For some of the states, you have to win a certain amount of money in order to be eligible to claim a prize anonymously. For the sake of this video, let's just say $250,000. So if you win a quarter of a million dollars or more, here are the states in the United States where you can remain anonymous. Arizona, Delaware, Georgia, Illinois, Kansas, Maryland, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, New Hampshire, if it's claimed by a blind trust, New Jersey, North Dakota, Ohio, South Carolina, and Wyoming. You can also remain anonymous in the state of Texas and West Virginia if you win $1 million or more, or in the state of Virginia if you win $10 million or more. So it really varies by the state, but you cannot remain anonymous in the states of California, Colorado, Florida, Kentucky, Michigan, New York, New Mexico, Louisiana, North Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Vermont, and Wisconsin. It's important to note that in the state of Colorado, they will release your first name and first initial of your last name. So that's not the full identity, but it's also not full anonymity either. 
So whether you can claim a prize anonymously in the United States really, really varies by the state. The rules really vary and they are changing all the time. So it's important to do your own research and to seek the help of experts to help you. And in states where you have to claim it publicly, such as Michigan, there were some winners that did something very interesting. They formed what they called a club to claim a one point five billion dollar mega millions jackpot they claimed as a registered lottery club in that state which means that only one member of the club needed to be identified publicly to claim the prize the rest of the members of the club remained anonymous so that's one way to do it to claim it on behalf of a group but you do need to check the rules of the place where the ticket was purchased to make sure that this is allowed another thing to keep in mind is that sometimes winners can form what's called a blind trust through their attorneys so that winners can remain remain anonymous that way. And in some states, if you sign the back of the ticket as an individual, then you will not have the option, the legal right to claim it on behalf of a blind trust. So you need to understand the rules before you even sign the back of the ticket because that varies depending upon where you purchase the ticket. So that's why the first piece of advice that I have if you win a major lottery jackpot is to store the ticket someplace secure such as a safety deposit box and then to seek the help of experts who are qualified and experienced to help you understand how to redeem the ticket and the rules prior to turning it in. I made a whole video about what to do if you win millions from the lottery. I will put a link to that video below. And I also made a video about how to find financial advisors, which I highly recommend if you happen to win millions of dollars. I think it's a very, very wise decision for most people to do that because the average lottery winner is not accustomed to dealing with that kind of money. So it's better to seek the help of experienced, trustworthy people who have a background and an education in doing just that. They have done it time and time and time again, so they actually can help you understand how to do that. I will put a link to a video I did about how to find a financial advisor below. But the bottom line is, although many places do allow lottery winners, thankfully, to claim prizes anonymously these days, there are some places that do not. And the rules upon how to do that really vary by the location. If you win a major prize, read the rules, seek the help of experts, and even if you claim it anonymously, come on to this podcast because I'm going to want to interview you. I can blur faces and we want to hear from you. Remember, if you do play the lottery, never spend more than you can afford. Have fun with it and remember that you do have a chance if you play. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about claiming a prize publicly versus anonymously? I love checking out your comments. There are new videos and interviews coming soon on this channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when they come out. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.